Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome again here at Young and Investing. We are going to talk about Bitcoin and we're going to talk about cryptocurrencies in this video because I think that or I know that the market situation needs some attention right now. What happened throughout the weekend was literally insane. We are going to have a look at the charts, but I already can say that nobody, but really nobody expected this to happen. But of course, it is Bitcoin and you can always expect the unexpected. Um, but yeah, it, it is just insane what happened. We saw record volumes on Bitcoin, an all-time high of Bitcoin volume during the weekend. So that is also something very remarkable. Normally, we see record volumes or big volumes throughout weekdays from Monday to Friday. And then Saturday, Sunday, the volumes are lower. So what happened now? Bitcoin made a new all-time high in volume. Uh, I think it was on Saturday. So that is... That is just insane what happened there um, on Saturday. But we're going to talk about that in just a minute. We're going to have a look at the numbers first. We see the market cap is close to $219 billion with a 24-hour volume of $75 billion. We all know that this is not real volume. A lot of it is just wash trading. Um, but yeah, anyway, $75 billion is what it says on CoinMarketCap. Uh, Bitcoin dominance is in 59% and still rising. Uh, Bitcoin is currently sitting at $7,300 uh, and 24 hours change of 2.2%. The other cryptocurrencies, the big ones, most of them are going down in uh, Bitcoin value because Bitcoin just uh, one hour ago started a new rally, uh, which we're also going to talk about uh, when we're having a look at the charts. But uh, we see Binance is up 11.5%. And that is because there were some rumors that were spread by just one guy. Uh, who said that the eBay partnership um, was with Binance Coin, um, but I do think it is very unlikely. So it is probably just buying the rumors and uh, selling ones that is um, said that it's not with Binance Coin. I think it is with someone else, but we're going to talk about that as well. So most of the altcoins are going down in Bitcoin value right now, uh, but most of them are in green numbers, so it is okay for now. So let's have a look at the eBay thing that is going on. I think that's pretty important because what happened? Well, someone shared around this picture on social media, on Twitter, and it says, it is basically, it are it is, it is advertisements that are being done by eBay on the consensus conference in New York. So someone already leaked these images of advertisements um, of eBay and it says virtual currency, it's happening on eBay. Then another one reach 179 million active buyers in the world's largest marketplace. And then the third one, eBay digital collectibles, it's happening on eBay. So what does it mean? For now, we don't know. For now, it is just speculation. Like I said, someone said it is a partnership with BNB, which I personally think is very unlikely. There is no connection or any link between eBay and BNB. So if BNB is going to be a payment option on eBay, I think it is going to be together with Bitcoin, with Ethereum, etc., so that it won't only be BNB. Uh, what is more likely is that eBay is going to announce a partnership with a third party um, payment operator. So um, that it's not a, a partnership that they're announcing that you can pay straight away with Bitcoin, but you pay um, with cryptocurrencies uh, with a third party and they simply uh, get the US dollar converted cryptocurrencies to US dollar instantly and going to eBay. And most likely it is a partnership with Utrust. Why? Because the Utrust hired former eBay and PayPal executive Sonia Khan as vice president of global partnerships in 2018. Utrust was a very um, exciting project in 2017-2018, but we didn't hear a lot about it anymore. But maybe right now they have something big coming up and that would be the partnership with eBay, which is more likely because of this, because Sonia Khan was a former um, executive at eBay and PayPal. So that's pretty cool, actually. So that is most likely what is going to happen, uh, the partnership with Utrust. So probably not BNB and already the price is going down again from BNB after uh, people made this connection between eBay and Utrust. So we will see what it will be. But anyway, probably there is something cool coming up for the crypto market that you can start paying with cryptocurrencies on eBay 
with a third party uh, payment provider uh, in between. Let's have a look at the markets right now. I think that's the most important part of it. What is happening? It is just insane. So I told you guys that I sold most of my holdings um, at this point here, 6,100 more or less here. Um, but what I didn't realize was that it was an option that it was going to break all the way through 7K. I told you guys if it is going to do that, which is very unlikely, then normally it should come back to find support uh, here um, on this level, which was support for a long, long time throughout the bear market of 2018. So um, normally it was going to do something like that and I was going to buy here. What I did was I bought this pullback right here because the strength with which Bitcoin did this was something which we didn't really see in the last year and a half. Um, so I don't want to risk missing out more of it. So I waited for the pullback and I bought back here actually just before the breakout here at 7,100 because it was pretty clear that it was going to break out upwards, which is it's doing right now. Um, what does this mean actually? What is happening right now with this breakout? Because you see it is a bearish pennant. Um, you can see it better on the lower time frames, even if this is the four hour chart. Let's check out the one hour chart. You can see it better right here. Uh, we see that it is a bearish pennant because with the move is bearish, um, a symmetrical pennant. This means normally a continuation of the trend. So normally it should go at least towards the 6.4K area because this is the length of the move. 6.4 it would be, but Bitcoin decided something else. So Bitcoin decided to break out upwards uh, just two hours ago right here. Um, so what is going to happen? There are of course two scenarios that it is going to continue the move and breaking new highs, or it is just going to retest this area. 7,450, this is the area to watch. If it is going to break through the 7,450 mark right here, we can really expect to go, it, it to go even higher. And the next support level, uh, resistance level is going to be here, 8,400. And otherwise it is going to be 9,000 or even 9,300. Uh, that is going to be the level of resistance. So these numbers sounds ridiculous, but nothing is ridiculous right now for Bitcoin. I mean, like nobody, really nobody expected it to go all the way from 6,000 to 7,000 in just three days. Uh, this resistance, which seems to be impossible to break from the first try, even the second try, everyone was saying it will be rejected at 6K, will go back to 4.2K. That's also what I said. Most likely this was going to happen. Uh, but yeah, apparently it didn't. And in just three days, it's smashed through this resistance all the way towards $7,600, while right now it is also against the odds breaking out of this or broke out already out of this bearish pennant towards a retest of the 7,450 area. If it's not going to break through the 7,500 mark right here, I think we will see a lower low. So then we have here the high, then we have a higher low. Uh, here we have a low, then probably a lower low I still think we are going back towards the 6.4K area, at least uh, maybe even towards the beginning of the breakout, beginning of the parabolic move, which would be here, 5,800. Mm -hmm. But of course we don't know if it's going through the 7.4, 7.5K area here. If it's going through that, then it is going straight up again. And then uh, of course, we need to adjust our support levels, uh, which we have in mind right now. But for now, it seems to be bullish until this point, and then we really need to wait for the decision. So like I said, I am long from this point here, the 7,100 area, just before or at the breakout. Um, and what I'm personally going to do, I'm going to look if it's going to uh, go through it and make a stop loss order. So if it's going, down again or it's being rejected from there i'm going to sell it again and yeah hopefully then it goes through the 6.4k area i think after this initial crash uh we will be seeing some sideways movement and then i think the altcoins will have the time to finally uh get back actually what they lost in the last few weeks that is around 20 percent 
uh, most of the altcoins. So I think then there will be a little alt season. We will see about that. But of course, we need price stability before we uh, we can speak about alt season coming up. As long as Bitcoin is making big moves up or down, I think altcoins have no space to move at this point. Another important thing to mention is that tomorrow on Tuesday, uh, Binance is um, opening up the withdrawals and deposits again. And um, that could be, have an impact. I think if Bitcoin is still moving quite hard, then I think we will see a lot of people starting to tether. So I think this might be causing a crash um, or a correction. This might be the trigger for that because right now a lot of people don't or are not able to take profits in, 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 uh, in USDT or they go to another exchange, but a lot of people don't trust other exchanges than Binance. So a lot of people are waiting for this. Another option is if Bitcoin found some stability by tomorrow, which I doubt, uh, then it could be that altcoins um, will have an alt season by tomorrow. But like I said, we need some stability for Bitcoin for that. Otherwise, I don't see that happening. But it's possible that tomorrow, if the deposits are open again, people are going to deposit their Bitcoin and are going to buy altcoins with that because the altcoins are bleeding and Bitcoin is going or went up so much in the last few weeks. So that is what I think will happen. Uh, when Binance open up, opens up again and I think that will be pretty important for the market or let's see what the market is doing at that point that will be quite important but like I said for now probably a retest of this and we will see if it's breaking through or not I am going to watch it very closely uh, to decide what I'm going to do but of course we still need a higher low from the point uh, which we made like the bear market low here back in December 2018 we didn't really made a higher low so there is no serious correction since then it is basically just one big parabolic move i made a parabola here um you can see that but it's one big parabolic move um it's one big move up and without any serious correction so there need to be a serious correction i think and establish a higher low before we can move higher so i think a lot of people are still waiting for that a lot of people are missing out on profits because of that, but it needs to come. And after that, I, we, I think we can be confident to say that we, um, we are going to start the bull market. But we don't know how low that higher low is going to be. That higher low can be even this area, the 4.2 area, which seems more and more unlikely the higher Bitcoin goes, of course. Um, normally, we see a retrace of 30 or 40% um, from the high from the new high that is established. But yeah, the higher it goes, of course, the more unlikely it is that we're ever going to see 4.2K again. But we will see, guys. So that is actually it for the video. I uh, rambled on enough, I think. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what you think about the recent move of Bitcoin and what you think they it is going to do in the next few hours and days because they will be very, very exciting. Uh, for bitcoin and maybe even for altcoins if price stability is found for bitcoin thank you so much for watching guys don't forget to like if you like the video see you next video cheers bye bye